Iowa is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He's to the 20. He's got the corner. He's knocked out of bounds around the 23-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here the defensive linemen did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. From their own 19-yard line, Second down. Throws a bullet over the middle. He ran a good looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Fires right side, got his tailback. He's tackled at the 29. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Gets out to about the 31. The Hawkeyes and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. That makes it second and six. Left, man, Second left. down and six. Down. Down. Ball on the 35. 35 the mic. Ready. Black. <laughs> Brought down around the 36 yard line. to thread the needle and it's not going to work. Down the sideline. The 10. Breaks the tackle and he'll score. Touchdown. Great job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house. Man, those pick sixes can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. And he adds the extra point. UCLA is lining up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. Brad, it's very important that this offense put that last possession behind them and just focus on trying to put together some positive plays right now and see if they can put a drive to catch. Finds his man, first down. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. Fires quickly to the tight end. Tackle at the 48. What a play. Boy, solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. Bring him down at about the 37-yard line. From the 37-yard line, first down. And they 
make the stop right around the 36-yard line. Got it on the quick throw. Tackle made right around the 30. Number 30 on the tackle at the 30-yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for a game. And this is the eighth play of the drive. First down. Three down, three down. 35 is the mic. Motion. 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 They'll work the left side with a counter play. Makes it to the 22-yard line. From the 22-yard line, it's second down. Got a man. Watch out here. And down he goes, around the six-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Three down, three down. 35's the mic. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Second down and goal. Ball on the two. Might have been some early movement up front. False start, offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback down. can do damage to a drive. Roger, Roger. Mike 35, Mike 35. Hey, keep Ready. Up, keep Ready. 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 And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. This is the 12th play of this drive. throws it away. Fourth down. This one should be makeable. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinators, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control the line of scrimmage. Uh, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. Gives it to the back. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. UCLA holds a four-point lead. Throws complete, he's hit right away. That reception good for around four yards. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. Quick strike and he drops it. The pass was right on target, so that took a perfectly timed hard hit to knock it free. Strong defense to deny the completion. From their own 40-yard line, it's third down. Hot. Set. Blue 14. Hey, hey, hey. Polar bear. Hey. Quick strike to the back. No good. That's going to bring up fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. 
This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. The Bruins are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like this. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He's out to the 30, and a quick throw. He's taken down around the 37-yard line. Just another weapon for this offense. He's got good hands, and he's tough to bring down. He showed right there that he can make something big happen. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. It's picked up, and he's taken down at the 36. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball, and a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. UCLA is up four. And he's tackled around the 33-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Nice run there. 22 with the tackle. Call it a gain of five yards. Third down. Hey, hey, hey. Hold up, hold up. Fires it out. Again with a carry. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Positive yardage. And he stopped behind the line. That's a loss of four yards on his play. That makes it fourth and four. It's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. The kick is up, and he got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. The ball pops free, and they fall on the loose ball. Brought down at the 20. The Hawkeyes know, I think, that at some point, they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. 35's the mic. Hunt, hunt. Motion, motion. Red 18. Hunt, hunt. Motion. Red 18. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that ball. He's 
tackled at about the 33-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 33. They'll get him in the backfield. The defensive end came through to put him away. Nice job of utilizing his athletic ability to get in there and then make a sure tackle. Another third down. He's scrambling. And he's level at the 45 yard line. That's a gain of six on the play. And this play is number eight on the drive. Slings it. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Hey, I know he dropped it, but the safety put himself in a position to make a play. That's impressive. From their own 45-yard line, second down. He gets rid of this one. Tenth play of the drive. immediately tackled. Quick out to his receiver. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. that decision. It was definitely a first down that they could have picked up. You want to be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. UCLA up seven points. Quick throw. And he tackles him hard at the 42. And that is a great call and a big game, especially on an early down. From the 42-yard line, first down. Scrambling around. Brought down right around the 40. Call his own number on that one. I like the idea of trying to run here, but the defense really made him pay the price for trying to run. Five wide. He's on the run. That's a great tackle at the 41. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Loss of three yards on the play. Fourth down. UCLA's called their final timeout. So they're going to go for it here. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. And it's intercepted. Fumble, loose ball. Touchdown, Bruins. They look awesome on that play. A well-thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. And he converts the extra point. So at the 
end of the half. UCLA leads it 17-3. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Nobody's been able to run the football in the first half. Neither ground game really got anything going. And you know, an offensive line, David, has to work in unison. They have to be like the Rockettes. They have to be in perfect step. And these guys, they were dancing to their own tune. That's the biggest Rockettes I've ever seen. Goodness gracious. Ugliest ones, too. Yeah. Uh, well, the big fat boys do have to work together. The big uglies, and they got to step together. But And you can't allow guys to run through clear. And you, and you see tackles for a loss, especially in the run game, when it's this unsuccessful in the first half. You know they're not all working together, and there's too many guys that are getting penetration and making plays, so they got to get it shored up. Run blocking is the thing they like to do the best. They like to get their big meat hooks on you, grab you, and hold you, and you know, to be honest, they got to do a better job of it if they want to get some successful running game going in the second half. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. And he got all of this one. Great kick. UCLA's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence. And it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Bring him down for a sack on the play. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. About the 25-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That brings up third and ten. Check number 19. Check number 19. Check pass. Check pass. Hey, black and five. They'll bring him down to the 37 yard line. Gain of 12 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 37. is the mic. Ready! Wide 50! Wide 50! He steps out at the 47 yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Throws out to the tight end again, completes. He goes out of bounds at the 49 yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 49 yard line. Three down, three down. Mike 35. Mike 35. Here we go. 319. 319. Hot, hot. Bumps up the helmet. Here we go. Makes it out to about the 39. That's a gain of 10 on the play. That'll make it second and inches. I know he ain't got it. And they make the stop around the 35-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Mike 35, Mike 35. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. And down he goes at the 21 yard line. That's good for a gain of 14 yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 21. Ready! Black and hot! Here's an opening. 
Tackle made at about the seven yard line. Brad, you just don't see this very often anymore in college football. That is their fifth first down on this drive alone. They have great rhythm right now as an offense. And look at that poor defense. They're looking over to the sidelines to the defensive coordinator for some help. They need to change things up. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Touchdown, Iowa! Things can get pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. And he adds the extra point. A 10-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. Brad, it's very important that this offense put that last possession behind them and just focus on trying to put together some positive plays right now and see if they can put a drive together. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it and the holes will start to open up. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 22. UCLA is up seven. Nice run, and he's brought down. Now he's scrambling, and they get the sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. And they're coming after this punter. And this one is a beauty. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. From their own 36-yard line, second down. Throws it, and he's got the tight end again. That's good for a of seven yards. That'll bring up 32. defense there to force them into a fourth down situation. They get this one off and it's a beauty. He's out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Iowa's a team that nobody gave a chance today, but they're right where they want to be. I think just the mindset of this football team, they need to be complimented for that because it's easy to come in, be a bit intimidated, be a bit overwhelmed. They've put that to the side, gone out and executed, and I think the longer they've stayed in this game, the more confidence that it's instilled. Now he tries to buy some time. Breaks one, and they got him. No baby on the play. That makes it second and ten. UCLA is up a score. Here he goes. Number seventeen with the run. Gain ten yards. Third down. He's 
taken down at the 49. That's three down and one to go. The Bruins with a touchdown lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Set. And he's taken down at about the 49. So the quarterback draw gets back to the line of scrimmage. That makes it second and 10. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. Third down again. Pressure coming. He gets sacked on the play. That makes it fourth and long. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. UCLA is up by a touchdown. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Talk about a booming punt. My goodness. Again, it's about stressing special teams. That is why a lot of head coaches usually run these units. It's because field position is just so important in the game. After a nice run up the middle. They're about four yards away here on second down. Three down, three down. 35 to the right. Sam! Flag 98! He's gobbled up in the backfield. That makes it third and seven. You know, at that point, I think Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Oh, man, he took him down hard. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He's tackled at the 48. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Less than three minutes in the game. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. No game. That makes it second and ten. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Hey! 
Cincinnati's tackle after positive yardage. Iowa will take their first time out of the half. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. Touchdown, UCLA! Looks like they didn't get the playoff quick enough. Delayed game, offense. Just under two minutes in the game. And he hits the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. I tell you what, this is something Pollock could love. Crunch time in a defensive battle. Well, he's sitting back at that studio loving this. Two defenses that are really imposing their will on these two offenses. Maybe they could even score to help out one of these offenses win the game. We're about set to start things up again. he's immediately tackled. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Going deep, lays it out there. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. It's third down and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Let's go! Why did he Fires to his receiver, first down. Brought down at the 43-yard line. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. He's hit and taken down. First down. Tackle right around the 30. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Slings it. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Just another weapon for this offense. He's got good hands and he's tough to bring down. He showed right there that he can make something big happen. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From the nine-yard line, it's second down. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. Tackle made at the 42-yard line. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. From the 45-yard line, second down. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee.
Try running left. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. This one's in the books, and our final score, 24-17, UCLA. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.